Spit Technical out. issues aside. Yes. How you doing? I'm doing well. Hey, so you brought us something from your uh, trip. Not only that, I found it. Ooh. It was lost for several months, but I brought us a Hoy de Monterey Cuban Epicure number two. Ooh. So we'll see how it aged. Special. I and like it in the little white tube. Bet you do. <laughs> anyway, it's Cuban, so everything about it is Cuban. I fully expect it to be on the medium light side. I'm going to guess it's going to be creamy smooth with a hint of citrus. That's going to be my guess. Okay. That's not a bad guess at all. So, well, th wow. thank you for the confirmation. It was ridiculously priced at $36 for this. And I'm getting a little bit of that cedar, right? They had a little cedar band in the tube. No, there's a whole cedar sleeve in the tube. Yes. Yeah. You like sticking your finger in the tube? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Why? I'm just excited, a Cuban. Why? I'm sure you're excited. This is a treat. Anyway, we're going to try this Cuban and hopefully Mark gets laryngitis. And <laughs> we'll be right back. See you in a bit. Uh, Mark, you know, it's really hot. It is a scorcher. I can't wait for the summer months when it's worse. You were telling me, what is it, 89? Feels like 96? Something like that. I think that. I said it was 87, felt like 91. Okay. But that's fine. But you know how bad it is? It's not as bad as the Kings getting kicked out of the playoffs and the Raiders just being the Raiders. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, I see that you're wearing... Uh... Uh, I, felt like, I felt like portraying loser today. Defend the untrodden, Jeff. Oh, they're horrible. Yeah. Raiders are horrible. The draft was horrible, and I watched. I was in Vegas when they they had oh, the, the draft. Yeah, they had the MGM. They had a big Raiders party. Looked like a ghost town. <laughs> uh, anyway, so yeah. what, what did you think about the uh, Epicure Number Two Robusto, the old Cuban Hoya de Monterey? You know, Cuban cigars are very distinctive. I, you know. Whenever I get the the pleasure of being Mark, able to Swiss or sweet is one. very distinctive. Yeah, but not like a Cuban. Cuban no, it's is, distinctive. Yeah, but it's uh, I I'm enjoying this. I think that it's uh, like most Cuban. It's kind of medium to, to light body, a little bit of coffee, a little bit of maybe milk chocolate. But overall, it's a uh, it's got a uniform burn. Um, just very, very flavorful. I really enjoy it. Thank you. It's very well, nice. That's why I'm here. It's very nice of you. Hey, a okay. Special well, treat. I'm going to say yourself? that the wrapper. We never yeah. discussed it. The wrapper was very smooth. It didn't see any veins, and mm -hmm. and what you can see of it, it's still very light brown. Uh, the ash. Hmm. Oh, ash, yeah. yeah. Ash was um, pretty. pretty good. Yeah. I want to say it wasn't great, but I'm saying it, it was pretty good. I liked it. It was a nice gray color, okay. like most ashes. Okay. But uh, as you said, it was very creamy. I'm going to say mild to the max medium. Okay. Uh, it had. It was pretty much like many of the Cubans, uh, of the lighter Cubans, and and uh, it was, had like citrus back flavors. I got vanilla, butter, and milk chocolate. Those were the flavors that I tasted. And we'll, we'll go over the numbers, and then it's interesting is when I was smoking it, it was reminding me of the El Septimo um, uh, Emperor Augustus because that, that was, was the a, other lighter one that yeah. we did. So let's but go over the numbers it first. Too. We, we like yeah, El we did. as well. So I gave it a 10 for appearance. I thought okay. it looked really great. Yes. Uh, you gave it a 9. Construction, I gave it a 9. You gave it a 10. Smell, I gave it a seven. You gave it an eight. Pretty Burn, close. I gave it a nine. You gave it an eight. Taste, I gave it an eight. You gave it a nine for a 43, 44, and a 43 yeah. and a half. So very respectable. Yeah. But I, I, as I said, I was comparing it to a cigar that we did in March, hmm. the El Septimo Emperor, and we gave that a 47. Yeah, we like that. And, and the price difference is substantial. So this the El, El Septimo was fourteen dollars. This is thirty six because I bought it in Iceland. You probably right. get it thirty five or you know probably thirty bucks somewhere in you know France if you can find it. Iceland, so it's hard getting Iceland. a Cuban locally, is what you're saying. Here they're illegal. Ah, that's the, so, I don't know why. 
I, I can guess. <laughs> so let's go to Washington and see who gives money in whose pocket. But ah, we're not going to get okay. into it. But I think the L-Septimo, actually, I liked it better. Okay. So, right. I mean, throw and away. For the price point. Even, you know, ignoring yeah. the price. Yeah. I think I would prefer the El Septimo to this cigar, but uh, if you can find one, I recommend you try it. The Cubans are Cubans and they have Cuban flavorings and they're remarkable. You won't smell like smoke after you smoke this, <laughs> which it just, I'm serious. It's amazing. Your clothes do not smell like smoke no. after you smoke a Cuban. No, you don't usually have to have like a mint afterwards. I'm either. not talking about your bad breath. I'm talking about your clothes. Halitosis? Yeah, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Somebody just shoot me. Have a good day. Yes, peace Bye. out. Thank you.